Hello guys and welcome. I am Ahmed Adel and this is Cost Engineering Professional and in this video we'll be talking about manpower productivity in the construction industry. If this is your first time visiting our channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, turning on notification, like, comment, share, show us love guys because we love you so much and with this let's get into the video. All right, guys, welcome back. Now let's start our video today with the definition of manpower productivity. What is the productivity? So it's the number of units of work placed, produced, or completed per hour or per day by one labor or a work crew, which means group of labors. So what can one labor do per day or what can a group of labors or a work crew do per day or per time unit, whatever, per hour, per week, per month, per day, whatever. So this is the productivity. This is the definition of productivity. So for example, if we are talking about, let's say the block work in installation. So productivity of a group of one block mason, like one mason and one helper, their productivity is about 80 blocks per day. They can install or fix 80 blocks per day. So that's their productivity, the productivity of this crew of one block mason and helper. And this 80 blocks or this productivity will include the first line of the block wall and also the lentils for the opening and also fixing all the block accessories. So fixing 80 blocks, including all the associated or all the required works. This is the productivity. Okay, if we are talking about the form work, for example, the productivity of a group of one scaffolder and work one carpenter, they can produce, let's say, 80 square meters of slab form work per day. So again, this 80 square meter is the productivity of this crew per day. One scaffolder, one carpenter can do 80 square meter of slab form work, similar to what you have seen here, per day. And this will include the leveling and the scaffolding erection and the plywood fixing and everything. So this is the productivity. I'm just giving an example so that we can understand what is that exactly. So why do we need to know the manpower productivity or what is the importance of this? What can we use the productivity for or what can we estimate or calculate from the manpower productivity? We can estimate the costs of labors in a project like you can understand in this project how much is the labor cost, how much labors will cost me or labor activities will cost me in this project, how much is the labor cost? So also to estimate the number of labors required to complete a certain work. If I have some certain work or some specific work that I want to do, I want to install some tiles, I want to do some painting, I want to put full ceiling, I want to shift some materials from one location to another. How much is the, or how many is the number that I need of labors to do this certain thing? Also to control the project costs. If I know that the productivity, for example, of a work crew of one block mason and one helper is 80 blocks per day. So when I am executing, when I am doing the work, I'll be able to control because I know that this is the productivity that we are following or, the, or we are using. So I'll make sure that this happens. Actually, my site supervision team will make sure that this productivity is achieved daily. And if not, I will highlight this. So it helps in the cost control purposes as well. Also to plan the project resources, like if I am planning how many people I need for a certain job or uh, what are the trades that I need for a certain job, I need to know the productivities and the quantities. So also to plan the project resources. Something else here to calculate activity duration. Like if I know the quantity of the activity and I know that the, the productivity of the work crews, I can estimate the duration that this activity will take, how many days or how many months I need to finish this activity and what are the resources required for that. We will see an example now in a moment uh, on this one, on this uh, particular point. Also to negotiate in installation only subcontractors, like if I know the cost of manpower per day and I know their productivity per day, so I actually know the cost of the activity itself per day, one square meter of tile fixing, how much it will cost me per day, this thing I know. And when I hire or when I try to hire some installation subcontractors, I can negotiate them. I can tell them that, that your approximate productivity is this much and your approximate costs per labor is this much. So why are you charging me so much for this activity? So I'll be able to negotiate installation only subcontractors. All right. So here a productivity of labor or a work crew is equal to number of units of measurements divided by number of units of time. 
So units of measurements, as we discussed earlier or in, in our earlier videos, can be cubic meters, square meters, running meters, numbers, whatever the unit of measurement. And this will be divided by, uh, let's say, the unit of time, hour, day, week, uh, month, whatever. So I can say here that the productivity of this labor or the productivity of this crew is, let's say, this much of cubic meters per hour or square meters per day or running meters per day or let's say numbers per week so for example my productivity is i can make one video per week so one number per week this is my productivity and i'm not that much consistent to be honest but anyways just an example so here this is how do we define or calculate the productivity this is the number of units of measurement 80 numbers of blocks per day for example so this is how we do it so sources of logical or achievable productivities like if i want to know one tiling mason and one helper how many square meters of tile they can do per day from where i can get this information the number the productivity from where i can get it so such rates can be obtained from historical data or past experience in the previous project let's say the work crew of one mason and one helper they used to do 20 square meters of flooring tiles so from that from the historical data or the past experience I'm able to know the productivity of a certain uh, work crew for a certain activity also from observations like for example if I have some sand uh, a big pile of sand and I want to shift this sand manually using labors from location A to location B how can I calculate the productivity like if I put two labors to do this job how long it will take them to shift all this pile of sand to the from location A to location B simply I can start I can put two labors and I'll just watch them for one hour so for example let's say one labor is taking like let's say one minute to fill the trolley with the sand then he's taking two minutes driving the trolley from location A to location B then he is dropping the uh, or uh, disposing the trolley there in the location B in, in let's say 30 seconds and he is coming back again in one or two minutes so I understand I can understand that one trip can take let's say five minutes and every two or three trip the labor will sit and rest for one minute so based on that I can understand per hour how many trips this labor can do so observation can help me in that and if I know per hour how many trips he can do so I can understand per day how many trips he can also do all this I got from observation just I'll go and watch the labors work for one hour to understand the productivity this is another source of obtaining logical or achievable productivities you can ask the foreman at site he will tell you from my observations i see that one labor can clean one apartment in let's say three hours or four hours or six hours or five hours whatever so observations there are some online or offline references some books are there that has the productivities of each trade of labors and there are some also websites if you search in google you can get these information and we have also logical assumptions considering the level of effort like it is the same the example that i told you now shifting the sand from location a to location b actually when i was telling you the example i assumed everything i assumed the pile and i assumed the duration that he is taking to fill the trolley and that the time he is taking to drive the trolley from location a to location b then dropping the sand then coming back and i also took into consideration the level of effort what what effort he needs to put in order to get this job done so logical assumptions considering the level of effort also can make you able to estimate the productivities of some of the activities that you have not done before you can just think logically about it and come up with something okay so we have an example here how to estimate the costs of labor uh, in a project using the productivity let's assume that we have a project where we need to uh, install flooring tiles and the quantity of flooring tiles in the project is 1000 square meter and the productivity of a work crew and the work crew consists of one tiling mason and one helper their productivity is 20 square meters per day so i know the productivity here is 20 square meters per day and i know that the quantity is 1000 square meter and the cost per day for example for one tiling mason is 150 dirhams per day and the helper will cost me 110 dirhams per day so these are the costs per day for this work crew or for these two labors and the productivity of these two labors together they can install as you can see here 20 square meters of tile per day 
and I have 1000 square meters of flooring tiles that I want to fix or install. So how much, first of all, how much is the project cost? Like given these data or these information here, how much is the cost of this project? So let's see the solution here. The crew cost per day is 150 plus 110. That's 260 dirhams per day because I have one tiling mason, 150 per day, and I have one helper, 110 per day. So the cost of this crew per day is 150 plus 110. That's 260. So this is the first thing. These two labors will cost me per day 260 dirhams. And what is the productivity of the crew? As we took from the example here, the productivity of these two guys together, they can produce 20 square meters per day of tile fixing. Okay, so this is the productivity, 20 square meters per day. Now the cost per square meter, one square meter, how much it will cost? These two guys together, they cost me 260 dirhams per day, and per day they can fix 20 square meters. So what is the cost per one square meter? The cost if, of fixing or the cost of installation of one square meter, it will be equal to 260 divided by 20. So that's 13 dirhams per square meter. If, if, they, if I'll give them 260 per day and per day they can install 20 square meters. So that means that the cost of installation of one square meter is 13 dirhams, 260 divided by 20, that's 13. And so the project cost will be equal to the quantity because I, I want to fix 1000 square meters of the tiles. So all I have to do is to just multiply the quantity, which is 1000 square meters, multiplied by the cost per square meter, which is 13. So 1000 into 13, that's 13,000 dirhams. So as you can see, I just got the cost per day for these two helpers. And I understand the productivity of these two helpers. And I have this much of quantity, which is 1000. Given this information, I was able to calculate the project cost. The cost of installing the 1,000 square meters will be 13,000 dirhams based on the information that we had from this example. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying the video so far, please consider liking, comment, show us love, guys, in the comments. I love to talk to you as usual. So this was the first part, which is how much is the project cost or how to calculate the project cost if we have the cost per day of the labors and we have their productivity as well. Now, we have another part. In the previous example, how many crews require to finish this project in one day only? I want to finish this project only in one day. I want to install the 1,000 square meters in just one day. So how many work crews I need to do that? Okay, how to calculate this? If the quantity is 1,000 square meter and the productivity per crew, per two labors, which is a one crew, is 20 square meters per day, so the number of crews required to finish the work in one day will be equal to the quantity, which is 1000 divided by the productivity of one crew. So I need 50 crews. Why 50 crews? Because each crew will do 20 square meters per day. So 50 into 20, that's the 1000 square meters, which I want to fix. So in terms of the number of work crews, I need 50 crews. So this is the number. So number of tiling masons required will be 50 and the number of helpers will be 50 because one crew consists of one mason and one helper. So if I need 50 crews, it means I need 100 labors. 50 of them are masons and 50 of them are helpers. Okay, third part here. Again, in the previous example, if the available number of work crews is only 10 crews, because here we have estimated that we need 50 crews if we want to finish this work in one day. But now I don't have 50 crews, the available number of work crews is only 10 crews. So in that case, what is the project duration? How many days do I need to install this 1000 square meters of tiles? So again, quantity is 1000 square meter and the productivity per crew, per one crew is 20 square meter per day. So the number of crews required to finish the work in one day as we calculated in the previous example is 1000 divided by 20, so I need 50 crews. Okay, but I don't have 50, I have only 10. So how many days I need to finish the job? 50 divided by 10. So that's five days. So all these things are examples on why do I need the productivity and how can I use the productivity to estimate other things like time, like cost and so on. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your valuable time. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel, like, write us something in the comments, guys, so that we can have some discussion there. 
And as always, stay safe, take care of your families. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.